now we have the syntax to handle a number of different scenarios but our conditions the conditions that we're testing for in order to execute certain blocks of code or not are still very simple we're still only able to check on one very simple condition a single condition such as the value of the variable age being greater than 25. If we wanted to make multiple conditions, then we need some way of combining them together so that Perl can make sense of what we're trying to specify. We need to be very precise about the way we do that. So in order to do this, the elements that we need to use are called logical operators. Here is an example of a logical operator at work. This is the AND operator. So here, in the case of presumably we're looking for, we're putting an AND in the paper to find a housemate, we're able to specify two different attributes that we require the person to have. We need them to be both over 25 and we need them to be an easygoing kind of person to get along with. As you can see, we're able to mix string comparison and numeric comparison operators within the one multiple condition. We can bridge that gap by using a logical operator. So what Perl actually does when we use the AND operator is it evaluates the first condition. Is the person over 25? And if they are, then it goes on to evaluate the second condition. And only if both of those conditions evaluate true does the overall condition, the multiple condition, resolve to a true value. If the age is less than 25 or equal to 25, then this side of the condition is false. And Perl actually won't even bother to evaluate the other side here because it knows it needs both sides in order to get a true response for the entire condition. So if the first half of the condition is false then it's going to ignore the rest. The OR logical operator on the other hand is a lot more forgiving. For instance we may want to specify that someone is over 25 but if they're a particularly mature person who's younger than that, then we'll let them off that age discrepancy and we'll consider them as a potential housemate anyway. So what we're able to do is use the OR logical operator. But this works in a very different way to the AND logical operator. If the first condition on the left of the operator is true, if the person is over 25, then because we only need one of the two conditions to be true for the overall multiple condition to evaluate true then it doesn't even bother to check whether they're a mature person or not the whole expression evaluates true if however they're not over 25 then it will go on to check the other side of the multiple condition so if either of those are true using an OR logical operator then the entire condition will evaluate true. We can also use the NOT logical operator. The NOT reverses the truth of whatever it immediately precedes. So in this case, if the value of the variable smoker is true, then this condition over here on this side will evaluate false. This is a way of succinctly expressing the fact that we want a non-smoker as a potential housemate. Once again we're able to use this logical operator here together with this logical operator so we're able to mix and match as much as we want. We do need to be careful though when we come to mix a whole lot of different conditions to make sure that the ones we want evaluated first get done first and then the groups of conditions that we want to put together are separated from the others.
So for instance, on a slightly more cynical note, if all of this is true, then that's great and they'll be considered as a housemate. However, we're willing to waive these particular conditions if they're a particularly beautiful candidate according to this particular set of conditions. So we're able to match a whole set of different conditions together into quite a complex statement by using the and, or, and not. But most importantly of all, we've been able to use brackets to mark out which conditions we need to group together. So this whole thing gets treated as one unit that is evaluated first, and then the rest of it is evaluated after we've come to a result for this side of the condition.